Hi, this is Mark from Groupable, and today we're going to go through how you close out your budget year and start a new accounting period. Uh, it's really fast. It's actually quite easy. Uh, it's really, if you've been tracking everything through the year, this literally takes a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I'm going to log in. And... When I first log in, I am going to just take a look at my income and expenses. I want to show you that there's some income and expenses showing here for the current budget period. So under financials, if I go to budget, I want you to first go to print. Print this out. You and your treasurer get together, review it. Make sure this matches what you expected, what he has, make sure everything balances before you go through the process of closing the budget. Not that it's hard, but it's better to just make sure that you and the treasurer are on, that you're on the same page here regarding the status of the financial. Once you've done that with him, go to the budget on the menu, on the financial menu, and click close budget period down here at the bottom. Now, your typical closing dates would be the last day of the year, 1231, or the last day of the last month of your fiscal period. So let's say you ran from July 1 to June 30th, then your closing date would be 630, 20, or 630 of whatever year that you're doing. Now, I can't put in a date in the future here. It won't let you do that. So today happens to be October 25th. So I'm going to put in October 25th because that's the date that I'm doing the close on. So 10, 25, 2020. So I'm going to go ahead and click the close button and click the confirm button. And that has now closed that financial period for me. If I go to income and expenses, remember it showed stuff here before, but now it doesn't. It's empty. But I can always navigate back to prior budget periods and see what my income and expenses were. I can see all of the details, all the vouchers for that particular period. All the information is all here. Also, for the most recent budget period, let's say I made a mistake and I forgot to record a transaction, I can actually click the link here and reopen this budget period so that it gets becomes all the stuff in the current budget period again. So you can go ahead, fix anything up, and then close it. Now, if you put some transactions in since then, it's okay because it's only going to take the transactions up to the date that you put in and close those particular transactions out. So that's the process on closing out your budget year. Uh, I, I've said this in a couple other videos. I really would like you to take a look at the overview and the rationale behind the financial functions that are in the M2 system so you understand what it is that we're trying to accomplish with them so you understand the rationale and how they all fit together. Uh, and that's all I've got to say about budgets. As you can see, it's quick, it's easy. There's no reason not to close out your budget periods because then you can navigate back and forth between your budget periods and get a feel for how you're doing over time. What's your income? What's your expenses? What's your gain or loss on operations? How is it all looking over time? Have a great day.